Hey, I have a lot of fun goodies to show you today, so let's get right to it. I have some Live Love Posh sticker books, some Calva Plan sticker books, all new stuff, and the mystery bag from the Happy Planner that I purchased last week. I'm very excited to show it all to you, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you the sticker books first, I guess, and save the mystery for later. First thing I wanna mention, this sticker book and this sticker book, unfortunately, are currently sold out. However, they are being restocked at the end of November. I don't have the exact date. So if you're interested in these sticker books, what you need to do is go to the website and sign up for email alerts and they will let you know exactly when it comes in so you can grab your copy. This one from Live Love Posh is available now. So let's look at the Live Love Posh books first and then we'll get into Kell of a Plan. This might be kind of a long video because I love doing flip throughs and I have not looked at any of these sticker books yet. I mean, I say they're cute. I did, I'll, I'll be honest, peek a little bit. They are really cute. <laughs> so Live Love Posh, I have a code BUMBLE10. That'll get you 10% off at that website. Let's get started on the one that's available first. So this one's called Winter Blooms and I freaking love Jessica. That's the owner, um, her sticker books. Live Love Posh has amazing stickers. I use them all the time. So let's look at this baby. Okay, so obviously winter blooms. We're gonna have winter, wintry colors, I guess. And I always think of blues in the winter, like blues and whites and reds. So of course the first page is that. These are on clear. You're gonna get two pages of each design and looks like this one's on paper. The good thing is you get two pages of each so you don't have to like stress that you're using your favorite sticker because there's another one so you can use it again. These are really cute. They're like functional boxes, but they're so pretty, aren't they? Also some interesting shapes on this side. These are on clear as well. I think we have a pattern probably, yeah, we're gonna go clear with the florals and then paper with the functional stuff. So here we have some really soft, pretty colors, florals. I actually love making floral spreads, the spreads. I love making floral spreads all year long definitely all year long. Even these are stickers, you guys, these little ones, look. They go on the edge of your page. How stinking cute are those? I just noticed those. There's a little corner baby. It's so cute. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. We have some black trees. Ooh, they're kind of ominous and yet Christmassy at the same time. I really like them actually. I love this branch with all of the things hanging off of it. We have like a moody Christmas vibe. Yeah, my daughter Kaylee would love this because she's really into that sort of vibe a lot. Like her whole house is black, so she would love these. Um, so we have a cute little Christmas tree here and definitely some florals that are gonna match these. this next page coming up, which is the functional page. I really like these shapes and these are cut around, in case you're wondering, they're cut around the shape like that. Okay, so we have some circles, some stars, which are little ornaments. You can hang those from the top of your page. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. Then we have some flor florals, florals, florals. Oh my gosh. Um, we have some florals in pink and like really pale blue, which are pretty. These boxes are kind of cool. They're sort of, I don't know, they're very different. They're sort of wonky. I like them. These are really pretty and soft. I love the colors here. Oh, this one does not have, yeah, that one matched that. This one does not have a functional page, but we go right into these really Christmassy florals here. They're really pretty. Okay, the next page has snowflakes and trees and florals. Oops. And then some blues and reds here again. These are really cute. And really, honestly, you can use some of these all year round. Of course, they have like little holly sprigs on them for these ones, but you know what I mean? Like you could totally use some of these, cut off the holly, whatever. And these are pretty too. I don't know what to say when I do flip throughs of floral sticker books. It's really difficult, so I don't have to talk much. I'm just gonna show you. <gasps> Ooh, these are really pretty. Oh, this is my favorite page of the book. Look at this. It's very whimsical. This is really my vibe here. Love that. 
I'm definitely going to be using those. And then we have really functional stuff. So some checklists, some headers, bullet points, boxes. You get a lot of those to match the colors in the book, which is nice. Very good. That's a cute sticker book. Okay, let's move on. We're going to try to get through these kind of quickly, if I can. I don't want this video to be an hour long, but it might be. Who knows? Okay, next up we have Chic Winter. This one looks interesting. So Live Love Posh stickers, a lot of them are very, like, cozy, you know, or kind of fashion-y. I don't know. They're kind of glam, some of them. This one's really cute. Look at this. So we have this girl, she's got her coffee, and there's her friend over there. We have a cute little mantle with a setup with that that picture. Excuse the noise, but um, Allie's home, and she is making Sorry. breakfast. <laughs> it's probably really loud, but then I always think that, and then you guys say, I don't hear it. So maybe I didn't need to say anything, but just in case. We have little gumball machines that look like snow globes. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you're, again, going to get two pages of each design. We have mountains here. And wait, those are on paper. Okay, so I've got to tell you. Oh, wait, okay. I missed it. I found this on the web for again. At two Siri, I wasn't talking to you. Hey, Siri, Check it please stop. Uh -huh. Please stop. Done. Oh, my gosh. That's the second time Siri went off in the past 15 minutes. I got to stop her on my computer. It's from my computer. But I wanted to come back to this because look at that look at that little pup oh my gosh that's really cute okay moving on we have some black and white snowflakes which are kind of cool this is on clear definitely more of a moody feeling here but the mountains are a different kind of feel i think it almost looks like they have confetti on the mountains but of course it's snow Ooh, look at this one this is paper we have houses and you know Okay, if you've seen me use the plenty thing, houses and trees sticker book, you know how much I love, love, love houses in my planner. I don't know why. It's just a thing I have, thing I do. These are really pretty though. They're like pastel and Christmassy or wintry, I guess. So cute. More mountains. Very mountainous sticker book with really cool trees. So you can create so many scenes with this book. I really like this. I love making scenes, not like making a scene, but in my planner, I mean. Okay, so we're at Disney World or Disneyland here. I didn't expect that. That's very unexpected, Jessica, just so you know. We have the castle. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. We have the little backpack with the ears. We have the girls having fun at Disney World during the holidays. If you've ever been to Disney World around the holidays, it is freaking awesome. We were there once. They had fake snow. Like, you're in Florida, there's no snow, you know, in the winter, but that day, it was magical. There's music playing, it's nighttime, there's the twinkling lights, and the snow starts coming down. The kids thought that was so magical. So did I, if I'm being honest. All right, so we have these really cute Mickey and Minnie Christmas balls here. You can hang them from the top of your page. Vacay Vibes, Planner Babe here. And of course, in live, love, posh fashion. Oh my gosh, that is so loud. It's not. But I'll just leave my dishes dirty. No, that's fine. You can rinse. <laughs> in live, love, posh fashion, we have florals on a lot of these pages. Ooh, cotton candy. Every time I look at these sticker books, I find new little details that I haven't seen before. Okay, so functional stickers to go with some of these colors. Very important, in my opinion. We've got four pages of those. Ooh, we have a really pretty strip sticker there. It almost looks like a really pastel brick wall. I really like that. Ski, ski, ski. No, thank you. I'm not a skier, but this is a skiing page, I guess. Ooh, we have board games, so that's my vibe. I will sit by the fire and play board games. If you're new to my channel, you have to understand that I make my flip throughs all about me, and I'm sorry about that. That sounds really selfish but I always tend to do that. So if you don't like that sort of thing, you might want to click off, just saying. This is just a cozy, cute skiing page. We have another one here. Ice skating, I used to do. I will not now because my ankles are just not good. So I probably would be too wobbly. <gasps> look at these. Wait, is that two stickers or one? Let me look. It's one. That's adorable. Okay, I could totally see making a page with 
like a skiing page even for me. Um, or if I didn't want to put the skiing stuff on it, totally we'll be using those stars. I love those. And the colors are really pretty. Could do the stars and then like this somewhere on it. Ooh, that's really cute. Okay, next up. We are kind of outside, kind of not. Very like homey vibe. We have this like color palette that's sort of peaches and greens and just warmth, you know. I really like this. Look at, there's a door leading to nowhere. You could totally do that in your planner. I don't know. You could even write your plans right on the snow there if you wanted to. Open the door, see what you have to do today. I don't know. So here's the page that goes with that. These are on paper, by the way, and the flowers are so pretty. They're beautiful. I like this tree too, without the leaves. Again, creating scenes, right? You could create indoor scenes, you could create outdoor scenes, make a scene. Okay, so now we're inside, oh, well, and outside, but look, I mean, it's a Christmassy vibe. These girls can sit right on top of a box, maybe. We have these warm blankets and a bird. Ooh, a bird. Some hot chocolate. I feel very cozy right now, except my feet are cold because I didn't put my slippers on. Um, and I have to turn off my heat when I do these videos because my heater is the loudest one you've ever heard in your entire life. I'm not kidding you. I've never heard a heater this loud, so I literally have to turn off the heat. So I'm doing that for you guys. I'm sacrificing for you because, hey, that's what I do here. Okay, let's get to this page. This is on clear and it's apples, lots of apples. So pretty. Another bird, kind of the same. Is it? Yeah, it's the same bird, just backwards. Love this. Now it's New Year's Eve and this is on paper. And when I think of New Year's Eve, in my planner at least, I think of pink and gold and black. And this is pretty much that. The pink is a little peachy, but I really like it. Yeah, we've got some champagne here, balloons, so festive. 2023, and this is on clear, which will complement the paper stickers. Really cute. Look, there's a, like an old fashioned clock, so pretty. And then we're gonna have another four pages of functional stuff. That's an adorable sticker book. I can see why it sold out really quickly. Now let's get to the big sticker. Okay, look at this sticker book and look at this sticker book. Are you kidding me? At first, I thought it was a mistake. I thought I got a bonus. I thought I was the one who got the special sticker book. However, no. And the reason I thought that is because I looked on, I, I thought I've never seen one this big from Live Love Posh. And then I looked on the back and it says 30 sheets. And this has 60 sheets and I thought, oh, I got a bonus, they made a mistake. But I looked on their website, it is a 60 sheet sticker book, so there is a, a misprint there. But chock full of stuff, so let's check it out. If you hear any talking in the background, that's Allie watching videos on her phone while I'm filming a video. You just turned it back on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, she's off from school for half a day today, so. She teaches, she doesn't go to school. Okay, so this is the Holly Jolly sticker book, appropriately named, right? The first page is paper. And this is cute. I love the color palette here. This is so like, I don't know, dainty and pretty. It's Christmas colors, but delicate, if you know what I mean. Love these. Are these separate or together? Let's check this out. It's one piece, but of course, if you want to hang them separately, you can always cut them. That's the beauty of stickers. We can cut them to create what we want. Dear Santa, for Christmas, I want. Hmm planner supplies sticker I think stickers yeah this little mug it has like a 50s vibe I think and there's another one on the next page see there's a little reindeer one and that um, Santa one they're totally like 50s 60s vibes I love that it's very vintage love this bow super cute Wallace is making his way over but hopefully um, he won't actually make his way onto this desk he's on the other desk Okay, this that was paper, these are clear, so they're gonna coordinate. The clear stickers, you know, they pop a little more on your page, they're a little brighter, but I think the complement will be good, you know, using both, so you get two of those. 
Ooh, so this is non-traditional Christmas here. We have some bright pinks, some light pinks, some turquoise. Look at those reindeer balloons. They're really cute. Baking spirits bright. I see what you did there. Live, love, posh. Look at this washi strip. That's so pretty. And it's pretty much the size that you see. You know, sometimes they're a lot smaller, but that one's not. More ornaments. You could totally cut these. Are they one? I think they're one sticker. Yeah, but you could totally cut these apart, draw a line, hang it from the top of your page or from a box. This page is so cute. We have the boxes to match the other page, but look at this gift wrap and the little tags and the scissors and stuff. This is all one piece, but you could, again, I'm not going to keep saying that, but you can always cut around these to make separate pieces, you know, separate stickers. Fa la 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 la, another strip here. There is a washi strip sticker video coming where I give you lots of ideas for washi strips, and I think it's really good, so. I'm going to be posting that within the next week, so check that out. All right, let's go to the next one. Again, paper here. We have a pup. I don't know if I should name them when I'm doing the flip throughs. I'm not going to, but I am going to name this one. And wait, the first thing. Wait, Allie, name this puppy. Chester. Well, you didn't see him yet. Oh. You didn't see him. Tell me if it still actually kind of looks like Chester, but. Peanut. <laughs> or popcorn. Or He's not a Chester. <laughs> Peanut. I like coconut. Coconut's cute, yeah. Okay. That's coconut. And when I use him in a spread, you guys can remind me because I'll totally forget what his name is. But yeah, that's coconut. Uh -huh. That's the only one I'm naming, though, on this sticker book. But look, we have a little bark box. Are you kidding? I still haven't gotten one of those. Definitely want to. Bark box, if you're watching, please sponsor me. Would love one. But I don't think you're watching. <laughs> anyway, bye. Love you too. Um, we have some presents, some ladies all dressed up. This is really cute, merry and bright. Holly Jolly, we have the elf there. Merry Christmas. The details in this, look at this little candle. Girl, instead of gifts, I'm giving my opinion. Love that, I wonder if you can, s all right, let me look at it. All right, I can't see what that says, so maybe not, but I would love it if I could read that tiny little writing. If you have the sticker book and you know what it says, let me know. Who needs Santa when you have Neiman Marcus? Okay, so we have some functional stuff. More, 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 same deal as the other ones. So now we have a more neutral vibe here with the color palette. There's definitely something for everyone in these sticker books. Um, Live Love Posh, she really likes to change it up so that everybody gets something that they like. I really like these bows because they have that little shine on them, you know? They're really cute. Naughty, nice. Which are you? Comment below. Just kidding. I think you're all nice. Unless you give me a mean comment and then you're naughty. So this page obviously goes with the other one. Merry, peace, nice. Look, see, you are nice. Pumpkin spice. This is cute. I love these trees. I kind of want them for my house, but I don't know where to get them. Okay, so now these are clear, so this is different. As you know, I said like Live Love Posh loves florals, so we do have some florals in here. They're poinsettias or poinsettias or however you're supposed to say it. These trees are really cute. Again, some scenes. This is also on clear, but these are cut out, I do believe, so that the middle isn't there. Yeah, I can see, I'm not gonna try to take it off, but I can see around here that it's cut out. So don't worry about, you know, having to write on clear sticker paper. You won't have to. These ones, this, this is one sticker and then this one in the middle is another sticker. I love that because it's not just a blank space. They gave us more stickers on the page. Okay, so I think this theme could probably go pretty well with the last one like this. Yeah, I mean, I think you could do both of these together. They're not that different. Joy, you have some Santa boots there with flowers in them. I love the plaid. I love like the ornaments with the little bit of plaid on them and the plaid planner and the plaid blanket. Definitely really cute. You have a window there with Santa. How cute is that? Whoa, see what I mean? Like the vibe really changes from theme to theme and I love that so much because there's something for everyone. This is on paper. Ooh, that feels really smooth. Okay, I really dig this theme, I will say. 
as we know, and I talked about in the last sticker book, I am a very whimsical um, planner. I love like that kind of thing the most. I do love the other stuff too, but this is more my favorite stuff. And this is so cute. Ho, ho, ho. Look at each letter is a different pattern. That's adorable. Christmas fun. That's adorable. I love the trees. Look at this rainbow. Oh my gosh. You could hang the stockings from the top of your week. I love this. That's really cute. Okay, a totally different vibe. It totally changes. This is on clear. We have lots of holly here. Some Christmas. It's like a Christmas garden with lights. With like lighted like Christmas lights in there. That's really cute. Two pages of that. Some functional pages to match. And this is like, um, well, I was just going to say it's like a Scandinavian vibe. Yeah, Scandinavian. Love this. This is really pretty. Wait, is this like, I think this is cut as a scallop. Let's see. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. I love the colors and I just love this vibe so much. So yeah, this is really pretty. We have two pages of different designs, like a red scallop here. That's so fun. Ooh, that's so pretty. I really like that. Okay, again, vibe change. We're going into some blues and golds. This is paper. And yeah, I mean, this is really cute. We have the snowflakes, the Christmas balls. It's a little more glam. And it's just a very specific color palette. Love this. So pretty. I love the candles. Really cute. Okay, I know, I keep saying cute, pretty, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. Clear here, clear here. And we have like lots of pretty flowers, obviously, more Christmas balls for you. And then this, I guess, is gonna match. Yeah, that'll match pretty well. And this is on paper. So we have these really decorative trees. And these girls are decorating the trees because it's Christmas time, obviously. Okay, we have some blue boxes and blue and green. Blue and green. We have some different pages back here. So these are on clear and we have some Christmas lights and they're bright colors, they're really cute. And these ones are shaped like trees. That's adorable. Okay, you get one page of that. And then these are really wild, right? We have corner pieces and you can really do a whole spread just with Christmas lights. I think that's fun. Okay, words here, December, January, February, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Hanukkah, tis the season to be jolly, ho, 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 peace on earth, jingle bells, baby it's cold outside, etc., etc. This is paper, Christmas bucket list, watch Christmas movies, ice skating, secret Santa, donate toys. So this is like a bucket list page. Okay, that's adorable. I love that so much. And don't forget, use code BUMBLE10 to get 10% off these babies. Okay, next up, we are going to go into the Kelleva Plan sticker books that I just got. And these released today. They are available right now. They are still, as of the filming, still available on the website. Oh my gosh, Wallace is knocking down everything on my desk. Wallace, you're a troublemaker. So like I said, these are still available. I don't have a code for these, but I will put my affiliate link in the description box. Would really appreciate it if you'd use my link. Like I said, it really, really helps me out. So thank you for everyone who always does that. I do appreciate you so much. Okay, let's look at Winter Florals Volume 2 first. I love the Kelova Plan sticker books because they always have so many boxes in different colors. And what I like to do sometimes when I need boxes of a particular color that Happy Planner isn't gonna have to match my spread, I will flip through all of my Calibre Plan sticker books and I always will find one that's like the exact match. So I love that so much. So we have some decorative boxes here and some functional boxes, really cute flowers, very wintry and pretty. We have some bigger ones for the dashboard, a long one here for your sidebar some checklists and then flowers to go with that. Really pretty colors here. These are on clear, by the way. 
we have three pages of these. Okay, so we're going into a different theme. This is like more dark, kind of, I don't know, it's not necessarily moody, but it's definitely a darker color palette here. It's really pretty and an interesting color palette, I think. So here's the flowers that go with that. The flowers, it looks like, are always gonna be on clear and the boxes are gonna be on paper. So pretty. There's little pine cones in there, how cute. Okay, next up, ooh, this is a pretty color palette here. It's very soft, pastel-y. And then we have the flowers to match. I love having the corner flowers and the ones like this that can go right along the line. Love that. Okay, so a darker palette here. Ooh, these are interesting. I love like the gold ones that are sort of drawn in. That's neat. Ooh, some hearts. So these are good for Valentine's. And then this is a totally different color palette. Very interesting. I really like the pops of bright blue in there. I wouldn't think that I would, but I do. I like those. Okay. And we have the flowers. They have snowflakes in them, like kind of glitterish snowflakes. That's cute. Really cute. Okay, so that is Winter Florals Volume 2. Now let's look at Winter Icons. I'm always more excited. Like, I love the floral sticker books, but I love, like, the picture ones better because they're more exciting, <laughs> especially when I'm doing a flip through. Like, they're a little more interesting to talk about. I don't know. Okay, so first page is Paper Boxes. Ooh, look at this. That's black. Oh, my gosh. You have a black box. I love that. I love having a plain black box. What am I gonna do with it? I could even write on it with white pen. Ooh, I like that. Okay, anyway, enough of that black box, but we have, it's a hot chocolate kind of day. These are some cozy vibe stickers. We're making cookies. We are reading. We are sitting with our computer and our blanket. We're just hanging out at home on a cold winter day. Love that so much because there's nothing better than staying home when it's like blizzard outside and you've got, you're watching movies, you've got your like food. Oh, I love that. <laughs> anyway, you're bundled up. Um, so we have some PJs again with the blankets, just fun. Look, you're doing manicure too and you're drinking cocoa. I kind of can't wait for that. Listen, I don't like winter, but I do like those kind of days. I especially used to like them when I worked outside the home because now I don't have any excuse not to work. <laughs> like I'm not gonna take the day off just because it's snowing. But when I worked in an office, it was so nice, you know? Back before I had like the laptop where I take from work, it was like, oh, we have the day off. Let's snuggle up and watch movies. These are on clear, by the way. Cute hats. You know, I like the hats with the pom-poms, but when I was a kid and my mom would ha dress me up, not dress me up, but you know what I mean? She'd buy me hats. They had, there was one that had a giant pom-pom and I was kind of embarrassed about it. Sorry, mom, if you're watching, but it was not my favorite hat. Yeah, I don't know. I think when I was a kid, pom-poms were more embarrassing than they are now. I don't know. So we have a more neutral color palette. Oh, look, New Year's Eve again, champagne link. So obviously <laughs> these are the same stickers as the other book or the same designs. I can't ignore that fact. I'm not going to ignore it. It is true, but they are cute. Okay. So if you're buying both books, you're going to have a whole bunch of these, you know, um, but look, these fireworks, I'm not sure they were in the other book. Very cute. Very cute. So you have three pages of clear stickers of those. And then we're getting into a more like winter color palette here. And this is more of a, I don't know, a simple look, right? Kind of more simple. Look at these coffee mugs. They're really cute. And the cocoa. Oh my gosh, what does this say? Oh, it's like little face on there with the eyelashes. So fun. Some jackets here, some sweaters, earmuffs. 
cans with coffee. I always like those. Some bows. Look at the little cameras, little Polaroids with the pictures coming out. Okay, now we get into this color palette. It's very different and it's Valentine's Day. I knew it, I knew it. I always love Valentine's Day stickers and I never seem to have enough, so this is fun. I love this. I love this with the two different skin tones. That is really nice. I like that a lot. Ooh, look at these cookies. They look delicious. They're like waffle cookies with sprinkles. Oh my gosh. Look at these candles. I really like that. Okay. And the cupcake, the arrow, tic-tac-toe pillow. Oh wow, this is really cute. Look at the cherries with the bow. I like this. Chocolates in a circle. You knock my socks off. Aw, somebody's getting fun Valentine socks for Valentine's Day. I don't think I've ever gotten Valentine socks. Whoa, <gasps> don't look. Heather, that's so racy. <laughs> um, cute though, this whole page is really cute. Okay, wow, this is very different from Valentine's Day, don't you think? It's wintry. Oh, I love like this plaid. Oh, that's so cute. The little cappuccino. It's an interesting color palette. It's very more muted, you know. And we have boots and more clothing, some coffee. Ooh, I kind of want one of those right now. Hmm, maybe after I film this, I'll go get myself a nice coffee. Look at that cute little bag. You could totally have a bag like this and it would be a little weird, but you could wear those boots, that vest, that hat, the gloves, and carry the bag and wear that watch. And people would think you were an absolute lunatic, but it would be really funny. So pretty, I love this. All right, so that is Winter Icons by Kelly of a Plan. Okay, now we're gonna get into the mystery bag, the mystery essentials bag that I bought from Happy Planner last week. It was $34.99 and, okay, disclaimer. Wait, let me get it. I'm gonna give you a disclaimer. <laughs> okay, I usually do, when I do the mystery bags, and you guys were the ones who told me to buy it, so thank you. I actually, it pushed me over the edge and I bought it. But with the mystery bags, I typically, like I always open them surprised, okay? A, a blind unboxing because I want my first reactions with you guys. And I do that with everything, in case you didn't realize that. Like, I don't look at anything. However, I had a Patreon Zoom call last night, and I will confess that I thought it would be fun to open this with my patrons. So I did that last night, and I apologize, but I didn't save it for you guys. So sorry about that. So I know what's in here, but you might not know what's in here. So this was $34.99, but the value, wait, I have to check on the value. There's so much in here is my point, hold on. Okay, I knew it was a lot. This has a retail value of $184.86, and the price is $34.99. Like, what? Are you kidding me? I mean, it is the best value, especially if you are a new planner. They're still available on the website. I will link it below for you. I'd appreciate using my link, but it's such a great deal. So let me show you everything in here. Now, if you wanna be surprised, I think probably most of them are the same. I'm not sure. But if you wanna be surprised when you open your mystery bag, just click off now. I'm telling you that because I'm gonna show you everything inside. So if you want to be surprised, click off, okay? All right, now let's get to it for the people who are still here. First of all, this bag is so cute. I'm glad I got this just for the bag, if I'm being honest, like this is adorable. Let me measure this for you. So it's about 16 inches tall by about 13 or 14 inches wide. Okay, so it's taller than it is wide and it is adorable. I am very excited to have this bag. So anyway, let's check out everything that's inside this bag. Okay, I'm just gonna pull out things randomly. I'm not even gonna like look at what they are. First up, we have this filler paper. This is classic sized. And I'm not gonna open up each thing because this is gonna go in my giveaway box because I already have this and I love these so much. This one says important, you got this, notes, and then this one's like a checklist. I don't know about you, but I love colored paper. I've always loved it. I loved it when I was a kid. And it has that like, kid vibe for me. 
like that feeling of writing on colored paper. I don't know, am I the only one that feels like that? But it brings me back and it's super cute. So this is the first thing. This stuff is probably gonna go in my Patreon giveaway stuff um, or like flash giveaways on YouTube, I don't know. All right, so next up we have some sticky notes and I love sticky notes so I might keep these. So these are older and I don't know when these came out but this font reminds me of like older Happy Planner. This one says to do, I think it's so cute. This one says blah, blah, blah. Again, I might keep these because I've given away so many sticky notes that I don't have as many anymore. So this is probably a me thing. Next up, we have some pocket folders. So we have three, no, we have six, sorry. We have six pocket folders, really cute. Again, these are older and some of the things in here are older, but like I said, if you're new, to the Happy Planner, um, this is such a great value. You're gonna get so much to start out with for such a great price. So keep that in mind if you're relatively new and don't have this kind of stuff. Because these are really cute. Look, there's flamingos on that one, stripies. We got some scallops there, very important stuff. I don't use pocket folders, but that doesn't mean they're not useful. The reason I don't use pocket folders is because I don't really take my planner anywhere and it just kind of stays with me. And I don't have a lot of papers. You know, if I had little kids, this would be so useful for me. And we were talking about that in the Zoom call last night, but I just don't, I don't have little kids anymore. So I don't get a lot of papers that come in. And when I do, I put them in my files. So that is a giveaway. Okay, I think I'm keeping this one. So this is a, um, a snap-in hardcover and I'm gonna open it because I am keeping it. I only have a couple of these. And this one's so pretty. I know it's a little bit older, but it doesn't really matter because it's so cute. So it's a classic sized and they are like really sturdy. And this one has like, I don't know if you can see that, it has like gold polka dots on it. I think it's so cute. In the back it says the happy planner, but it doesn't have any like quotes or anything on the front. I think it's really pretty and I might use it for my, my journal for next year. So I'm currently using a snap-in cover that's like a softer snap-in cover that I really like, but I think I might switch to this one, we'll see. Next we have a classic sized half sheet filler paper and these are great for popping in like during the middle of the week so that you can track certain things. Maybe if you can't fit them on your planner, like this could totally be for meal planning, you know, and you can just pop it in there and then remove it if you want to at the end of the week. But these are really helpful for that kind of thing. Um, I don't typically use half sheets, but I'll be honest, I'm, I think I might keep this because I'm considering using this for, uh, the videos that I post each day. I think that might be helpful because currently I'm not using my work planner and I know, I know, but if I put this in my regular planner, because I do look at my regular one, my catch all, if I put this in there, maybe that will help me keep better track of my work until I start using Work Planner again in January. I know it's weird that I'm not using Work Planner, but I was feeling really overwhelmed with it and I wanted a little bit of a break. So that's what's going on there. I do use daily sheets for that, but I, would, I like the idea of having a weekly tracker for that. So I may keep this. I have to see what other ones I have because I might have one similar to this, but I'll take a look. The other thing is this is classic size, but I use a big happy planner. Um, I could totally put this in my big happy planner. You can use classic size half sheets with no problem at all, obviously, because they're smaller than the planner. So you don't have to use the big half sheets in your big planner if you don't want to. Well, bam, the tiny sticker book. Yes, I love this one. This one is so cute. If you don't have this one, honestly you should get it because it's adorable like it has all these little illustrations like tiny little illustrations obviously tiny but it has a little bit of everything little icons for manicures and movie night it has weather and meals and chores and planner stuff coffees wine I always forget to use this one, but it's so cute. Now I might keep this one. I'm gonna have to take a look at mine to see how many stickers I've used in it, you know? Um, but I may keep this, we'll see. Isn't this cute? 
this is a pen case and I don't remember what collection this is from. Maybe it's Socialite because it looks like those colors. It's so cute, isn't it? So you can snap these into your planner. I don't use these in my planner, but I do use them for props in my photos. I use them for other stuff like if I'm taking pens into the other room because I want to do some planning out there, I will throw stuff in like a pen pouch or whatever, but this is really cute. It's not one of the ones that straps in, it's one of the ones that snaps in. I just made a rhyme. Next we have some sticky notepads. So these have tabs and I'm considering keeping these, but I have so many planner supplies that I do not know. I'm gonna take them out and look at them. Okay, so this snaps into your planner and each of these is sticky. Okay, so, well, it just came up. It just came off of this a little bit. So if you're like pulling sticky notes off of here, you're gonna wanna hold that down. Otherwise it might rip off, just so you know. So I like this. I like this. So you can use these tabs for different stuff and it's sticky. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these or not, but they're, you have five different colors. Oh wait, look, they're different. So this one is a graph that has like the different colors on it. That's kind of cool. And this one's lined, some more lines, another graph one, and then notes. That's really cute. Okay, I have to think about that because I probably don't need to keep it. I have so many things. Two more sticker books and these are older sticker books. So when we were doing the Patreon Zoom, I was taking these out without looking at them and I was holding them up to the screen and looking at a corner to try to see if I could guess what they were. And I'm not gonna lie, I was slightly disappointed because these are older ones. So I was kind of bummed, but like I said, the value of this mystery bag is so good. And I mean, each of these sticker books, like sticker books are $20 and you get three full-size sticker books in this, that's already $60. You've spent $34.99. You get the bag, you get all of this other stuff that's in the bag. And, um, and then the three sticker books, like it's such a great value that, you know, so what? They're older sticker books, but they're still useful. Um, I used to use these all the time, all the time because this is basically, well, it's called Planner Basics, but it has everything. So if you're a new planner, this is super useful. I'm not gonna lie, like this really will help you. It's got work stickers, chores and food and meal planning and steps and emojis. Like it has everything in here for like your spreads where you can like stick a laundry sticker down, you know what I mean? So the, out of these two sticker books, this one, is more useful than this one in my opinion, but this one is still useful. This is a little bit more like with the decorative boxes and stuff, a lot of bullet points, little little quotes actually. I forgot that there's little quotes in here and that is really useful because I'm always looking for little quotes and I honestly forgot they were in this book. And we have the strips like, this is great for just everyday planning, you know, when you just need something on your spread and you just pop these in. So these two, I used to recommend this one and I might, I forget, did I recommend this on the video where I did like my favorite beginner sticker books? I might have because Planner Basics is just so key when you're beginning that I, I recommend it all the time. So like I said, I was a little bit disappointed, but for a newbie, these are perfect. I still have more coming. It's incredible how much is in here. So we have plastic envelopes. There are three of them. They look like this. I'm not gonna open it up. Plastic envelopes are really good for things like receipts or um, coupons or little bits and pieces, um, extra little die cut stickers, stuff like that perfect for that kind of stuff. I don't typically use them in my planner. I have used them in the past, but I don't use them right now, but a lot of people do love these for that kind of thing. Still coming. Okay, not gonna lie, I'm keeping this because I love block pads. I have a collection of block pads going and 
I just, I use them all the time because they sit on my desk. They are perfect to scratch down notes when I need to, but they're also great for planning. So this one obviously has the days of the week. I could totally use this for my videos and then for extra little notes here. I was saying to my patrons last night that I really would love a block pad that was just plain paper with maybe a design on the top or something, but I would love this blue color, the whole page solid because I use them for scrap paper constantly. And I'm gonna add it to my block pad collection. I think I have maybe six of them at this point or so, but I really enjoy these. And they're, there's a hundred sheets and they last forever. You know what I mean? They last so long. It's not ending yet. It's not done. So here we have classic metal discs. They are rainbow. I am keeping these just so you know, they're gonna go in my disc collection because I can always use extra discs. And then there's one more thing in here and it is a pack of washi. So we have the stripes, which are always needed. I almost wanna keep this just for this one because I think I used to have this striped washi and I don't have it anymore. Wow. We have some confetti looking down there, some gold polka dot. I'm not gonna open these, but some really cute washi tapes in here, just patterned, nothing, you know, earth shattering, no big designs. So that's my kind of washi. Okay, so that is everything in the bag. And like I said, that's a crazy amount of stuff. Definitely more stuff than last year's mystery bags, I think, like this is insane. Like, look at this, it's so much that like so much, you know what I mean? And I mean, even the bag alone, I probably would have paid like 20 bucks for because I love it that much. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> it's just like stuff all over the place. So if you're interested in that, I, like I said, I will put the link below. Don't forget to check out these other babies as well. I mean, such a good haul today, don't you think? I really appreciate you watching all the way through. Let me know in the comments what you think of this stuff. Are you planning to purchase anything? I always like to hear what you have to say. And I always read all the comments. I just don't have time to respond to all the comments. But guaranteed, I read them all. I'm, you know, reading them throughout the day when I'm in the bathroom, when I'm, when I'm, you know, cooking dinner, when I'm just, I have a moment, I always read all of your comments. So thank you for doing that. And I will see you in my next one. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.